Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great most so much respect to your brothers out there, preaching his word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, Tabernacle of David, Hopeful Lake, and the Speckled Bird, and want to say shalom. So let's just get right into it. So, you know. I was watching the brother's video and, and pretty much sleazy E, <laughs> he pretty much exposing himself as a devil. You know, you can't, you can't promote prayer, can't promote good eating habits, can't promote <laughs> that there's a, 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 perhaps a, a Michael chip and the Maxine can't promote that the Maxine will not uh, uh, kill somebody. You know, this man, this man really, you know, through his policies has, has really exposed himself as a devil on the earth. All right. Devil meaning deceiver. All right. He, he's a mass deceiver. All right. And they and they, and they do not want truth to reign and prosper in this world. They want to continue to deceive and to destroy many. All right. You know, they they really do not want. The people to praise Yahweh Al Shah's name, they don't. All right, so this, <laughs> you know, this this man Esau, you don't really, you know, what you have done coming against the truth, you really have exposed yourself. So without further ado, you know, also before I get into the scriptures, you know, go watch the brother's video, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get into the scriptures. All right. So I'm going to go to, um, let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. Let's get that real quick. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai consume with the spirit of his mouth. How is, how is the wicked being revealed and being consumed by the spirit of his mouth? All right. By the prophets being the Lord's mouthpiece. All right. We are the Lord's mouthpiece. Okay. And the wicked is being revealed. Him coming up, uh, bucking up against his truth. And he's really, he's really getting closer and closer to your own demise. All right. Esau, you know, what you don't realize. All right. You, you really in the Lord's trick bag and you have been revealed and your infrastructure, everything that you planted. All right, it's going to collapse. It's going to crumble right before your very eyes. <laughs> and I pray to y'all by me outside of me, my brothers, you know, that we be able to see the collapse, the fall of your of your wicked ass kingdom, man. So you you have been revealed. So keep on bucking up against this truth. All right. Get the feminine word cracking a hey, hey, as as fast as it's it, it, going to be a, <laughs> a fast decline. Of, of your wicked ass kingdom. All right. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So that's what we're waiting for, man. All right. You have been revealed. And Yahweh and the host of angels are going to come. Crack that sky open. All right. And, and and pretty much put you into slavery, man. Destroy destroy everything that you have. All right. You you are being brought down low right before our very eyes. You, you may think... That you are uh, getting some points on the board. No, really, man. You you losing, man. You know, you you are losing. <laughs> all right. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs and lying wonders. All right. They're coming in the uh, spirit of the spiritual demon Satan, man. All right. They, they're great deceivers. They're lying. All right. Telling people all this. This Maxine ain't going to kill you. This Maxine is... It's for your for your health. No, man, they, they lying right in front of the people, man. People are dropping dead from the Maxines. OK. All right. But a hey, hey, keep on coming to coming up against this true matter of fact. Let's get um, let's go to second Corinthians 13 and uh, verse eight. All right. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You see that you cannot. <laughs> All right, so you once again, Esau Edom thinking that he's he's putting some points on the board, he's winning. All right, he's trying to shut the mouths of the prophets. No, really, you 
you once again you are getting closer and closer to your own demise okay and it, and it's beautiful all right so your own infrastructure is is it's, it's going to fall, man. Why do you believe it or not? It's, it's going to fall. This is uh, Job 5 and 12. Okay. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You see that? Esau Edom thinks that he's crafty. All right. But he's going to be disappointed. Okay. Esau Edom is gearing up. All right. Getting his space force together. But guess what? You you can't fight the angels. You can't fight Yahweh Shai. You know, you when, when you watch some of these uh videos about the chariots, all right, which Esau Eden will call them the UFOs, you know, when the aircrafts, you know, when when the jets come near, even come close, or even try to fire at the chariots, all right, their their <laughs> their aircrafts just end up shutting down, man. Not responding, you know. So you you are taking L's from every from every front from every side, man. All right, your enterprise, everything is going to be taken down. All right, let's get verse thirteen. He taken the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the Ford is carried headlong, head headlong. All right, the wise is going to be taken in their own craftiness. All right, so you, you know also they got. You know, really, the spirit of the Lord led Esau Edom to create his own destruction. The nuclear missiles, all right, they're going to be used <laughs> on himself, okay? They meet with darkness and daytime and group in the noonday as in night. But he savored the poor from the sword and from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. You see, the Lord's going to save us, Lord, when we are the elect, all right? So we got to put in that work. All right, give our bodies as a living sacrifice. Keep on doing these lessons. All right, so so Lord willing, we will have that protection. All right, because Esau Edom has been given the blessing of the sword. We're worms down here, but the Lord has promised His men. All right, that He's going to change them, give them that power, give them a uh, uh, change them into a, a new strong thrusting in instrument with teeth. All right, power. Okay, so we're not supposed to be out here fearing. Because this man, Esau, Edom, he's going to be brought down low, man. All right? He is going to be brought down low. Okay? Let's get verse 16. So the poor have hope and iniquity stoppeth her mouth. All right? The poor down here. Who, who's the poor? The, the elect, man. The Israelites. Hey, we have hope. All right? Do, do these understanding of, this, of these scriptures. And hey, we know this man, no matter what happens, this man is going to be put down. This man is going to be put to death. This man is going to be destroyed. His infrastructure, everything is going to be destroyed. Okay? And all we got to do, hey, all we got to do is have faith and keep on preaching his word until the famine of the word hits. All right? That's all we got to do. All praises to Yahweh Shemiel All right? Just uh, ask the Lord for you, for him to give you that strength to continue. All right? So let's... uh. Let's go to Psalms 55. This is um, Psalms 55. I'm started at uh, verse 21. All right. Psalms 55, verse 21. All right. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet. Were they drawn swords? So our people believe this man and over and over this man has showed you over and over not to trust him. All right. And, and about the Lord's mouthpiece, his prophets. Hey, we, we've been out there exposing them, starting with the head apostles, the apostles and elders, GMS on down. OK, been out there on the highways and byways, exposing the wicked. OK, not and, and telling you not to trust the wicked, but our people are still going to trust the wicked. And they're gonna be destroyed because they they have trust him, trust in his in his wickedness, man. Verse twenty two: Cast thy burden upon the Lord Yahweh by Shmuel side, and He shall sustain thee. You see that the Lord is going to sustain us. All right, if you make the Lord your refuge, all right, He's gonna be your hedge. He's gonna be your your protection. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. You see that. So that's why it's imperative to take heed to this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right? Because if you do, 
you know, and you endure to the end, you're going to see, you're going to see this kingdom burn down. All right, verse 23, but thou, O power, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. You see that? <laughs> this man thinking that he's going to win at the end, man. All right, he's not even going to live out half his days. All right, because he saw Edom thinks that his house is going to continue forever. All right, but <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's, it's not. All right, he's being brought down low right before our very eyes. You ain't you ain't got no 10 years, 30 plus years in this kingdom. All right. You're going to be destroyed, man. All right, but we're going to put a trust in Yahweh Shem and we're seeing, we seeing the prophecies come to fruition right before our very eyes, man. All right, so I'm going to get uh, Job 20. Let's go back to Job. This is Job 20, uh, start at verse 5. All right. The triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. You see that? The joy of a hypocrite but mm -hmm. for a moment. Because these people are a hypocritical people, a hypocritical nation. All right? So their reign and, and rule is only going to be short. All right? But but the Israelites' reign and rule right, is going to be forever. So we just got to go through this bumpy ride and, and hey, just... Buckle up and watch this man kingdom fall right before our very eyes, man. You know, keep on, <laughs> keep on exposing yourself, man. Keep on coming against this truth. All right. See what's going to happen to you, easy E. All right, verse six. Though his ex excellency mount up to the heavens, his pride and his head reach unto the clouds, his pride. All right. And, and with the understanding of these scriptures, you understand that the Lord hates pride. All right. Yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He's, this man's going to perish forever like his own dung. All right, so keep on exposing him. Keep on pushing his word, all right? <laughs> we we going to see the downfall of this man. All right, check, for, check this. Verse 8, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eyes also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more be behold him. All right, so this man is going to be like a dream when we get in the kingdom of heaven. When we see the destruction of, of this kingdom, man. All right, we're going to be like this base ass man was ruling over us, man. You know? All right, and, and we're seeing it right before our very eyes right now. You know, the curses are clinging unto the house of Esau. All right, and, and it's beautiful. All right, so once again, these people thinking that they 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 putting up some points on the scoreboard. No, nah, man, you you losing. All right, it's it's beautiful. All right, and at the end of your slavery as well, man, you you just gonna be burnt up, burnt to a crisp. Ain't gonna be no no uh, uh remaining of the house of Esau, man. All right, no more wickedness. Okay, the wicked is gonna be put out. All right. So you got a lot of hell to pay. <laughs> all right. So with that, Lord, when it's edifying, I want to give all praises going on. And to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakaka, Dash. Until next time, Lord, when shall we